Hi, I'm Janine from Purple Room Yoga, and I wanted to do a short tutorial on how to keep your shoulders safe when doing floor poses in yoga. It's very common to injure your shoulders, um, the rotator cuff muscles, when we're doing poses like Chaturanga Dandasana, because when you do them incorrectly, you're straining the rotator cuff muscles instead of employing the bigger muscles of the back to help you and support you in these pose, in these challenging poses. So I just wanted to go over the different movements of the shoulder blades. Um, so that you can have a sense of what to do with your shoulder blades in these various poses. So the shoulder blades move up, they elevate, they move down, they depress, they squeeze toward each other, which is retraction, and they spread apart, which is protraction. They also wing out to the side when we lift our arms up. In yoga, we try to keep them down. And then the tips of the shoulder blades squeeze together when we bring the arms back down. We're going to talk a little bit about elevation, depression, retraction and protraction in a few of these poses. So in terms of keeping your shoulders safe, you want to make sure that you're really using the big muscles of the upper back for plank, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward dog, rather than the little rotator cuff muscles, which over time can wear out and tear. So for example, when we're doing chaturanga, and I'm just going to do the modified version, you want to think about the shoulder joint moving forward of the elbow joint but not shrugging the shoulders by the ears. You wanna keep the shoulder blades down in depression and slight retraction. So they're moving just slightly toward each other as you pull the chest forward and the elbows bend, right? So the full version is with the knees off the floor, half version is with the knees on the floor. If you're diving forward and kind of collapsing into your shoulders or as you come over the shoulder shrug, then that puts all the weight into these tiny muscles of the shoulder and it's not as good. Whereas when you keep the shoulder blades down the back, you're using the lats, you're using the lower traps, they're much bigger muscles and better designed to support your body. Uh, when it comes to downward facing dog, a lot of times I see people shrugging their shoulders. So they're sort of here. And again, this is kind of straining and creating tension in the neck and upper back. Whereas when you can spread the shoulders apart and move them down the back, there's a lot more space and a lot more stability. Again, we're using these big muscles of the upper back to support our downward dog. So if you can think about these kinds of things, um, when it comes to upward dog, right? Here's another one, right? If you're shrugging and you're just kind of hanging into your shoulder joint over time, your shoulder's not gonna like that. When you can press down through the shoulders and lift through the chest, using the legs to take some of the effort out of the arms, it's a much better, it's much safer for the shoulders to do that. So thinking about that depression in really all the poses and slight retraction in upward dog, slight retraction in chaturanga, and then protraction, spreading them wide for downward dog. And I hope that helps. Have a great rest of your day.